So, digging in the vault. These are two decks that I came across, which me just even getting this deck was a miracle all in itself because when I was taking first started herb classes like two years ago, I saw this deck in my teacher's class because she sells crystals too and you know it all goes together. And I almost died when I found it and I could not find the deck. Well, I got it brand new for $15. Then I found that they did a re- um, she came back out, I guess she, not self-published, but she left Heaven and Earth that published this deck and came out and she added 21 cards and they're smaller and they're gilded. If you can see, I like use this deck every day. Like I love this deck. Like literally this deck is magic. Now the books are almost the exact same. And the only reason I dug this out is because I'm like, you know, I like watching back videos of decks I already have and then I was just sitting here thinking so I started like rearranging my desk in all my areas trying to do my walkthrough which I'm just going to give it to them raw how it is over here but anyway so I pulled this out like I can't believe I had this and I forgot I even had this deck so I'll show you these because this is the love of my life and then I'm not going to go through and match them all up to compare you can do that I'm pretty sure somebody did it but I'm going to give it due respect because this deck, like I do all my kids readings with these decks, with this one. And I am telling you now, if you don't have this deck, even this is great, but this, oh my God. So I'm going to show you this and we'll just talk a little bit about it real quick now. And this is her name, Nyasha Ashian. I don't know, but she's magic. This is magical. And then this deck, some of the beginning parts, you're not going to get in the new book. Like most of it's the same, but it's not all the same, especially when you're talking about earth magic. That's different. And it's like, it just like brought this deck to life for me. She talks about the light, the first spark of consciousness congealed within the infinite mind of the divine creator. And it was like every creation that followed. Anyway, I'm not going to read it. I know most of you know this. This part, this isn't in the new book. Within our bodies and beings are billions of cells, zillions of molecules, and countless atomic and subatomic particles. Each of these parts carries its own vibration specific to itself. Imagine the number of specific vibrations that combine to create the vibration in a community of a molecule. Now imagine the number of molecules that must exist in energetic harmony in order to create the being and the vibration of just one of those cells in your fingernail or your eye. And I mean, anyway, I'm not going to read it, but it's literally earth magic. So I'm pretty sure this part isn't in the new book and I'm not about to double check. This used to be, I guess, what she taught, crystal resonance therapy, and then she breaks that down. This book is pretty much, this new deck and book is pretty much identical. The only part I think you're not going to get is Crystal Magic. But in this deck, she redid the deck now and she has 21 new decks. I mean, new cards, new crystals. Which, here, let me show you what I made real quick. When I first got this deck, <laughs> when I first got this deck and did a reading, the first crystal I pulled was Seraphonite. And that's what this is. I know, it's so cheesy. My kids are like, Mom. But this is Seraphonite. And Seraphonite is galactic, which means it's, you can't even, it comes from Russia, just like Shungite. And Shungite just means it's, um, it's you can't even carbon date it. So it's older than Earth, basically. It came from somewhere else. It's galactic. And Russia has a lot of galactic minerals. But anyway, this is Shungite. Is it the right way? If you can see it. And it literally has wings on it. If you have the real sh, sh I mean, this is Seraphonite. Sorry. This is Seraphonite. But anyway, it was the first card I pulled in this deck. And I, like, got it. <sighs> it's a bit pricey. So anyway, let me just look, walk you through this deck real quick. I really might just do, like, Kelly and go through all my decks and just... Because I feel like I owe them that. Like, I love my decks. Let's just turn it down a little bit. All right. Earth. So it goes through a whole earth before, like this is a card, you can pull this for yourself. When I do readings with this deck, I do simple readings, even though there are spreads. Let's see what spreads this has, or is it in the new book? This has the elemental ally spread, because these are the crystal ally cards. It has a chakra spread, <laughs> excuse me, spread, the pyramid spread. Heaven and Earth spread. So 
So it has some spreads in this and it has a lot more spreads in the new book. So you will get a lot more spreads. And I think the new deck I paid like $30 for. But anyway, let's just look at them. So this is Earth. So anyway, I only do three card readings usually with this. Um, how the cards view me now or view whoever now. The obstacle and the blessing or what I need to get out of that obstacle. I mean, this deck, and I read with the new deck. I don't even pull this out. It's like thin. This is the back. It's like thin, but I don't give a hell, heck. Black tourmaline. I'll show you a few of the new ones, too. Prote and it's funny because my deck's all messed up, and I hate watching videos when they're all messed up like that. I like it all nice and neat, but not in this reality. Even if I like candles, I basically almost catch my cards on fire, so let's keep this simple over here. Courage. Pretty much the cards are almost all exactly the same. Except the ones I guess she lost and she couldn't like digitally pull back up. But they're pretty much the same. They show more stones in the other deck. Beginnings. Petrified wood. Oh, that's a whole heartbreaking story if I didn't tell you about that. Then it goes into the fire category. Oh, I have to do another walkthrough when I'm done on this to show... I know Kelly likes all the elements. I'm telling you, you don't have the best day ever. Ever. It's like these. this tarot community is amazing. And it's like I really know these people. But I don't know them. But if they ever needed something, I would get it for them. Come over anytime and get a drink. I'm going to get me some Bailey's. Irish cream tomorrow. And just toast to the good life. This life is great. Night. Intention. Do you guys know what decks I want? And I, I mean, I have to have the Carolyn Smith deck. She has the Moon Oracle, um, the Radiant Sun Tarot, the Elemental Tarot, and I think there's one more. I want that whole collection. I want that elemental tarot. I'm not paying 135 for it though. So mark my words, I will have that whole collection. I think they wrote kids' books too. I'm telling you guys now, I'm so confused on astrology. I don't know what astrology to go with. So it's like a whole process, me figuring it out. Look at these cards. Personal truth, Amazonite. Isn't that the truth? This is a Pedialyte. Acceptance. Then it goes into the one category. Moonstone. Amethyst. Divine Connection. Magic. I mean, do you see it's like every how I see these crystals and you know what this deck did this deck opened up for me to learn from the actual crystal not just learn about the crystal like Western medicine oh you got a headache put this you're trying to connect use this um, you need love use rose quartz no that's like Western medicine these cards opened me up to actually learn from the crystals not just about the crystals and that's a big difference there. Just listen to what I said. Learn from the crystals and not just about the crystals. All right. Moldavite. I don't have any Moldavite. Oh, I got some Chandler crystals over here. Oh, there she is. Seraphonite. Healing. Oh, I pulled that card for my daughter because she really wants to connect with her higher self, which she already, <laughs> excuse me, already is. And she's like, oh my God, these younger kids nowadays, they're so in tune. Not all of them. All right, so this is the Crystal Ally cards. I'll show you a few of the new ones because she did redo the deck. The Crystal Path to Self-Knowledge. Self-Knowledge. 
All right, and this is her new deck. Of course, it's smaller. It's like the size of an actual tarot deck, too. And it's the same. It's like water. See, they basically look the same. Here's a new one. Crystal Chris. Giving. See, that's the same. Black tourmaline. Manifestation. Citrine. Clarity. Clear Quartz. What is this? Initiate. Is my camera clear? Initiation. Look at that. And it goes into storm. Then it breaks it down. This will be another deck that someone that really has time to like read the book and like go through and study. I can read the book, go through and study just like I did the first two times I did with um what what deck is that over there? The Dow Oracle. Oh my god. And then I got it and I was like, you did this already once. It took me like three times to get it. Now I can cast. Well, that was a process. Look at that. Amethyst. Highlight. Oh, highlight is magical. I don't know if people work with highlight. Oh, these are. So anyway, this is the new deck I just wanted to show now that I'm actually watching videos and pulling out my decks. And this is her new the Crystal Ally Cards Evolution Edition. Hmm. And like I said, it's about the same. Let me pull it back some so you can see. Let's just look at the spreads in this one real quick. So she still has the Trinity, the Path Working, the Trinity 3 card, the Manifesting 4 card, the Elemental 5 card, Pyramid. She has a seven card chakra. The Great Wheel, a ten cards. Oh, this is an interesting one. This is the snapshot layout houses. Reveals a snapshot of the current energy that is available to you as a gift and the energy that you need to cultivate consciously, which are lessons, as well as the stones that would be appropriate. Like even she even talks that you can um like, I do layouts on my son, my oldest, and it, like, just 10-minute crystal layouts with four crystals terminated, and, um, and this is how the cards read, and, and it's all this, and then it's a whole message from the actual crystal, too, but anyway, I do, like, uh, layouts and stuff, because, you know, I'm taking classes with Joy Gardner, going on two years now, I got a year left, and I graduate in Hawaii. And we're doing like cell regression and all kinds of work. So I've been working with chakras and stuff like that. And now when I'm doing the layout with the chakras, let's just remove like negativity and tension out of your body. Uh, well, I'm not going to get into that. Just the crystal ally cards. So I just want to pull this off my deck and share a little bit because I love them. And if you don't have this deck, this is something that you would not, especially if you're working with crystals ever. This is a deck you have to have, like literally. This right here, this little piece of seraphonite, look at it. My other piece has the angel wings really good, but I gave it to my daughter. She's in school. So anyway, just wanted to share my crystal ally cards. And this is the one that you can get easily now, the evolution edition. So gone for now, not forever.